welcome to another Kimikaze creation video. Uh, working on the little beetle today. She's my daily driver, pretty much, or he, Norman. And uh, I've had a few issues since I bought it. Uh, one of them has been the horn. And, uh, you know, it, it works, but uh, if you hook it up when you turn corners, it uh, goes off. So I've disconnected it and thought it's probably the uh, main bearing. That's where the earth for the horn is located. So I bought a part for that, and that's been on the uh, back burner for a while. I uh, haven't replaced it, just been driving it. But I've got another issue, which is a starting issue, and the key seems pretty ordinary. Not the physical key, but the, uh, the ignition mechanism. Uh, and I think that's a problem. Again, not 100% sure. I'm just going to work my way through the process. But I thought while I'm uh, pulling the steering wheel apart, I'll have a look at both items and uh, replace them and at least they'll be new and if that's not the issue I'll uh, track it through a bit further but I'll show you the items that I bought. So down here on the seat I have the the horn bearing or and uh, and wires to replace which I may as well do while I'm doing this process and I've got a new ignition Yes, the main key barrel will link down into there and it basically turns that switch to give you ignition, which I think it's this part that is uh, giving me the key issue. Um, at the moment, it doesn't start like I've had this issue before. Um, not 100% sure whether this is the only issue, but this is the first one I'm going to attack. So to start this process, I've got to take the uh, empty steering wheel off uh, and uh, pull it all apart, get the main bearing out uh, and get down to the point I can uh, release this key barrel and uh, work my way through the process. I'm burrowing down into the uh, steering column and you can see the, the main bearing there. Um, that's this, and uh, it's got these couple of plastic locators that you can see sitting in here. So that's my next mission getting in to get that out. There's a little circlip just on here. I need to get off. Hopefully it's the right size. It fits over this spline nicely. But that's the first mission, get that out. And I'm also going to have a look at separating um, the cowl here. So I found a couple of um socket headed cap screws in underneath so hopefully i can get this off and it makes the installation and of that uh, ignition switch a bit better too anyway that's where i'm at at the moment here's the old horn bearing out and all its parts um this over here is basically a housing to hold it and fit it into the steering column um this slid down over the uh steering column first and now I've fitted the uh, bearing in with its new parts so you can see the new bearing here the biggest issue which wasn't really an issue was getting the um, the wire down through the steering column um, but it's all fitted up there and there's that new part sitting down in there I have a sense that it wasn't located properly. This whole unit here actually clamps to the steering column. And I have a sense that this was up a bit high and not even contacting with this, which insulates the horn, causing the issue. So it might not have been the part. It might have been whoever's done a previous installation on it. Anyway, I'll keep working. I think my um, the ignition switch that I bought isn't for this model. Um, I've pulled this ignition switch up and out, um, running these. One I bought does have those main ignition wires on there, but um, it doesn't actually fit unless, unless it pulls out of that ignition block. I uh, haven't got it all the way out to check, um, but I, I have a gut feeling that is the wrong part for the car. Anyway, I'll do a little bit more research. Here's the um, steering column uh, put back together with a new bearing in there. And um, 
here's that uh, horn wire and I've got to just splice it and solder it off uh, rather than use the spade fitting there and uh, it'll be interesting to see if that works finally it might actually have a horn Norman's all back together at this stage. I've got a little bit of work to do on the wiring. So I mainly only fitted in that new steering wheel bearing, which was causing the horn to come on uh, when you turn corners. I'd done everything down through the steering column, the main wire. I've run a new main wire down through the uh, steering column before and hooked it up and it still did it. So it came down to being that bearing. So that was uh, this bearing that I replaced. Uh, don't know why, but, but it was earthing out uh, when you turn corners. So I bought that new one. I think I bought it off um, Just Campers online in Australia and uh, fitted it up, put it all back on. And now, bloody beautiful. Turn, we probably don't need the ignition on, but works beautifully. And when you turn the steering wheel, there's no, uh, no horn. As a consequence, I was working at changing this ignition switch because I had issues with, uh, I thought it was the ignition switch, but when I put the car in the shed earlier, I couldn't get it to start at all. It was just turning over and wouldn't fire. Um, but I have had a fair few issues with starting the car. Um, but I noticed also that my fuel gauge was not reading. Uh, and when I put the uh, bearing back in and uh, started assembling it back together, I had no blinkers. So I started looking at some electrical stuff and fuse, fuses. And through that process, I found a couple of wires up in the, uh, up in the bonnet area that uh, weren't very well connected. Yeah, I hooked those up and now, easy as, flick the ignition and she starts straight away. Very happy with that result. So I uh, started out trying to fix those two problems, the horn and the starting, and uh, it wasn't the ignition switch, which is a bonus. Um, all these wires down here are um, just hanging out loose at the moment. Um, they've been done before by someone else. And here's the new horn wire, the brown one you can see. So I've just got to tidy those wires up now, but I've got blinkers, I've got lights. Uh, it'd be interesting to see if I've got dash lights over night time because that was one thing that I was missing as well. So really successful uh, afternoon of work on Old Norman, uh, and hopefully I can drive her again tomorrow. Top job. So the key sometimes, uh, the reason I thought it was this ignition, and it's still doing it, um, even though she's starting now, I think that was those couple of wires I found in the front, and uh, also I found some more that aren't, aren't connected real well so I'm going to have to go through with them all and make sure I've got good earthing connections uh, that could be a, a symptom of the issue I'm having but when I turn the key it actually uh, sort of goes past the click point and then comes back just a little and that's when it will start um, doesn't do it all the time just does it some of the time the wiring here has had a, you know, 50 year old car, so she's obviously had a few uh, modifications. Anyway, if anyone's got any ideas on the ignition and what's happened here, um, happy to get some advice on tidying this all up, even some modern solutions or just cleaning it up and uh, getting to work right. But I think a few of my issues, you can see right over in the corner here, this wire. Um, isn't connected real well and needs uh, a bit of fixing. I've got downloaded this wiring diagram and uh, it's helping me diagnose a little bit. That that number one fuse seems to be to do a lot with tail lights and number plate lights, one and two. So yeah, got to work a little bit of it out. Uh, try to match this uh, panel up here to a wiring diagram and start to just tidy the wiring up and make sure I've got good connections everywhere. So a bit of a process, uh, not an absolutely perfect outcome. Uh, interested to uh, get some advice off people. Um, I'm still learning with Norman and the little VW. She's all pretty basic. I'm definitely not an electrical dude and wires. Um, don't really even know how to use an amp meter. 
got to teach myself that one day. One day. But anyway, she's starting. Finding those wires that are off have helped dramatically with the starting. It still seems to do that funny ignition thing. Um, and I did photograph the ignition barrel while I had it out so I can get an exact part number off it. Uh, now that I know how to pull it all apart, it'll be quite easy to replace that if I have to. So anyway, guys, she's starting and running. I can drive her. I actually tested the... Um, uh, the dash light last night inside the speedo and that works too, which I haven't had that working for ages So I've had a lot of little symptoms about wiring in this car uh, And I, I think I just need to investigate it a little bit more to sort out some of these problems. Anyway, guys Thanks heaps for watching uh, Onwards and upwards uh, who knows what car I'll be working on next and uh, If you like the videos, uh, you know, I've heard that hitting that uh, like button helps me out heaps um, if you choose to, that'd be great. If not, that's great as well. Take care, guys. Bye.